Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, thanks for clicking on my video. So today, I'm sure you've guessed, it is another hair video, and this unit right here caught me completely by surprise. First of all, it's the center part. Second of all, this color. I thought it was going to be too much, but I love purple, and this is like purple, burgundy vibes, so... Yeah, I know y'all want to know where it's from, how much it costs, the details. So to find all that out, you got to keep watching. Please hit that subscribe button and let's jump right into this video. I am so excited about this wig because y'all know, or if you don't know, I love colorful wigs. My hair, I do not dye it. I tried one time and my hair fell out. <laughs> Literally, I did that whole dye it light at the top and underneath was dark and bangs fell out, sides fell out, and I had to have a pixie. So we don't dye, my, I dye my hair dark sometimes, but that's it. We're not going lighter, no bleach whatsoever. Today, we are gonna talk about and install the Love Me Hair Dark Plum Color Loose Wave Undetectable Invisible Lace Middle Part Glueless Wig. Now y'all know, if it says glueless, I'ma do it glueless. This one, let me tell you the specs about her real quick. She is 12 inches, 150% density, dark plum color, which I love purple, so I was like purple burgundy. I hope that's what it is. And it says, can be worn glueless. It is a top Swiss lace and it has a six inch across by four inch deep by one and a quarter inch wide minimalist lace parting space. So it is not the full 13 by four or any of that. You cannot move this part. If I did not say already, y'all know this purple box. It is from Love Me Hair. They need to just make me a partner with the company because this one was sent to me, but I also bought in the same color a side part it's either a side part or a 13 by 4 I don't know why did I need two of them I didn't but I did so that's what I bought so let me show you what's in the package real quick y'all have seen it pretty much standard with every package you get your wig caps you get your little bag which I have collected some of these and I've gotten to the point where I've just started tossing them get your little mirror again so this pack is gold mirror on the inside and of course a baby hairbrush i've done enough videos where i feel like i've shown the same kind of things so you know we would like to get something different sometimes but that's not why we buy the wigs we buy them for the units themselves so this is what she comes looking like straight out of the package and it does say that this one is a loose wave so hopefully i will not have to do much to her this is what the parting space looks like so you can see knots don't look like they're too dark oh hmm okay so 13 inches across but you can see right here in the front that there is not much lace behind this parting space so you will not be able to go back and pluck that too much further. So this is that parting space I was talking about right there in the middle. That is all you have, which for beginner, that's good. It comes with your elastic band, should be a comb. There is no comb in the top part, which I never use those anyway, but you do have your two combs here on the side one in the back and then your adjustable straps so i want to see if i can hurry up and throw this on because i think she would look so good but look at this i love the loose wave hopefully i won't have to do too much to her because normally i wash i curl i do all this stuff i don't want to do that today so oh we're gonna rock a center part let me wrap my hair and put my wig grip on and let's see if we can make it happen so let's see how this looks just putting it on, not doing anything yet. I love that this band is sewn in because there are times when I go to put that band on the back and it comes apart. 
Okay, so I should have put a black wig cap on, but we are not taking that off right now. So this is what it looks like straight out the pack. She is flat on my head. I do feel like the lace is a little light, but I'm just gonna put some in the powder. I'm not gonna put it, I'm not taking this back off. So we're just gonna cut it. I love the curls. And here's the thing, I used to always feel some type of way about closures because I was like, mm, that don't look weird. But listen, y'all have no idea the struggle sometimes of trying to get, <laughs> I would pluck this a little more. I don't feel like this is very pre-plucked. Um, the struggle of trying to get these sides to lay down. So right now, if you don't try to push the hair behind your ears, you don't have to worry about that. So we're going to cut all this lace off. not bad you can see we got a little bit of a white cast but all I need to do is put a little bit of powder on that she is fitting snug on my head so I don't feel like I need to do anything else so I'm just gonna take a little bit we may need to put some foundation When I look straight at y'all like this, it looks fine, but the telltale is when you tilt that head back, you do not want to see that. So let me get my foundation. And I like using my stick foundation for this because it just makes it so much easier. Take a little bit on there like that, and then boom, she's blended. And of course, if you decide to melt it doing glue or some hairspray or something like that it will tint and look even better but like I said we want to go glueless so we are not doing that and then I'm gonna go ahead and apply some in the part Just blending that a little bit more so now you can see when you look up you don't see it as much I'm gonna take my wax stick just to flatten this out a little bit I have to get my hot comb y'all know I cannot deal with a flyaway this will make me take her off real quick and then a little bit of my sleek and shine just to try to tame This should have been curled towards the back, and it looks like it is curled towards the front. It is. I wonder if I can. Nope. She says she gonna do what she wants, which is go to the front. Y'all see it. I know y'all see it. Of course, if y'all up in somebody's business like that, a wig looks like a wig. It's a wig. It's supposed to. But from far away... This wig is kind of doing something for me, especially with this eyeshadow look. So let me finish playing with styling it real quick and I'll come back. But y'all saw this baby is not glued on and I'm not putting glue. guys this is it for the final look I'm about to become a center part girl I don't even know who I am right now but this color and this style like she could sit on my mannequin head this is not glued down like sit on my mannequin head and just pick her up when I'm ready to go somewhere and then take her right back off and sit it up there 
You cannot ask. You can't ask for better than this. You really can't. And this wig is not expensive because it doesn't have a lot of lace. But this color just makes it feel so fancy and expensive. So let me give you all a 360 real quick. I don't know what this looks like in the back. I think, I think it's all right, but... This is it for the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Tell me what you think about the color, about the style. Would you rock it? But it's really sleek, really cute, sophisticated. Like I could even wear this to work. They'll know it's a wig because it's ain't my hair color, but dude, does it matter? Not really. So yeah, just check the description box to see how to get yours with that discount. You do not want to miss out. Thank you so much, Love Me Hair, for sending me this wig. I absolutely love it. The details for this unit will be listed down below. You guys know, check the description box. If I have a coupon code, I will put it there. Thanks for sticking with me to the end of this video. I hope you decided to join the family. If you're new, if you like it, if you like the style, you like the color, give this video a thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.